Here is how to create a YouTube playlist. So first of all, go to YouTube Studio and click on the Playlists icon on the left-hand side. I will also put a link to this exact page uh, in the notes below the video so you can just bookmark it and go to your own channel playlists with that link. So once you're on the channel playlist in YouTube Studio, click on New Playlist on the top right and this is where you enter the title of the playlist for example so making a sample playlist okay but and you because you can see you have 150 characters so they could be named uh, I'll show you I mean the names can be quite long YouTube channel setup and optimization that's a long name as you can see some of mine are quite long joy for productivity spiritual or practical spiritual method blah 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 so anyway create a new playlist title it and then um, and then select the visibility so if you make it public that means people who come to your YouTube channel can probably find it especially if you feature the playlist I'll talk about that in a separate segment but um, public is obviously it's findable searchable on YouTube you know, because YouTube search can search playlists as well by topics um, private means that nobody can see it at all uh, only you logged into your YouTube account can never find the playlist and access the playlist. Now the videos within the playlist might be public or unlisted or or uh, private, but this is just about the visibility of the playlist, the organization of the of the videos itself. And then unlisted means that the people you give the playlist link to will be able to access the playlist. This is what I choose when I have online courses that people pay for I create a video playlist uh, on YouTube and I select it unlisted and I send the playlist link only to my students so I use that a lot but public is uh, is a way if you want to just you know like I said publicly market certain videos so that is how you create a playlist let's go ahead and do that right now click on create all right so once the playlist has been created, we need to add the description of the playlist. So let's go ahead and click on the pencil icon here. That opens up a new window to the brand new playlist. It looks like this because there's no videos added yet, so they can't take a thumbnail of the first video yet. Once you have a video added, they will take the, fir the thumbnail of the, th the first video listed, and that'll be the thumbnail of the playlist as well. Okay, so sample playlist, as you can see here, um, you can edit the title as often as you'd like, and you can change the visibility uh, of the playlist. And remember, when you change the visibility, you're not changing the visibility of all the videos in the playlist. You're just changing the visibility of the playlist, the organization of videos. Okay, and then here's where you add the description here. Click on the pencil icon, and you have 5,000 characters, so you could really uh, describe it in with with quite a bit of detail uh, you can also add in URLs and it will work so for example I'll show you um, a real-life playlist give me a moment here to pull that up okay so so this is I've logged into an incognito window so this person is not logged into YouTube and this is an unlisted playlist so how can a person not logged into YouTube find an unlisted playlist they can because um, I have given that person this link so that's how they're able to find it and as you can see here from the playlist description I made it description very very short but I was able to I, I put in a URL here that people can click on to go to my website so like I said um, when you're editing the description you could you can type as much as you want and and you can put in um, a URL you know I'm just gonna give you a sample here Okay, put in URL here. You could put slash whatever you want, but I'm just going to put that. I click on save, and as you can see, it comes out like this. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the share button just to show you what this what this looks like in uh, in the real world. Uh, let me go ahead and go to that link that I've just copied. Okay, so as you can see, you know the the description can have multiple paragraphs, and it can have the link. But notice that when I when I'm looking at the description as a creator the link doesn't appear to be highlighted but the person who's looking at it from the other side will be able to click on it it's just that you as the creator 
can't click on the link yourself. Uh, it's a weird bug they have. So I hope this is helpful as the start for creating your YouTube playlist.